we're here with another recipe today. I am going to be trying something new for a video for you all. We bought a thick tomahawk ribeye steak and I am going to be cooking that for you today. So if you want to sit back and relax as I do the cooking for you. All right, all. Here it is, and as you can see, it's a beauty, very thick, meaty, nice marbling. Look at that, but it's USDA Angus, you know what I mean? Tomahawk ribeye, okay? First off, what I'm going to do is I am going to pull this out of this wrapper. I am going to season it with some onion butter. I am going to slap on some bourbon and some brown sugar and... I know most people would just do salt and pepper, but I'm going to do a couple different things. Of course, you know, I got my handy dandy meat tenderizer, thick pieces of meat. And even with the marbling, you want to help because you can't pound this meat and get all the gristle and stuff you don't want to. You want to only baby tap this beauty. So this has all paprika, salt, pepper. It's got everything in there for you. And then a little bit of onion butter. It's got scallions, onions, mixed with the butter. Give it a little thing. And then I'm going to put a little twist on this. I'm going to be using some curry powder. Yep, curry. We're going to add a little sweet heat to this baby. Something a little different. Usually I keep curry on chicken or pork. I'm going to put it on my steak. So anyways, it won't fit in the baggie to marinate, so I'm going to put it on a foil line and then wrap it up and let it marinate in those juices before I'm ready to cook it. Okay, y'all. My steak has been marinated for a couple hours. I'm using garlic and herb butter with a little bit of oil, olive oil. I'm going to melt this and I'm just going to sear don't forget to season your bone. I forgot to tell you that. Anyways, I'm going to sear the top, the bottom, and all the way around the outside in a cast iron. And then I'm going to put it in the oven on 350. I'm sorry, on broil on the bottom shelf. And I'm going to cover it. The reason why, I'm only going to put it in for about 20 minutes to sear in those juices. And then I'm going to put it out on the grill. I'm going to be going for a medium to a medium well. Once you go all the way medium well, it, it, it's overcooked. You don't want to do that. Not on this piece of meat. It's like prime rib. Medium to medium well. In between those. Anyways, I'm going to sear, bake covered, or broil covered for about 20 minutes. And then it's going out onto the grill to get those scorch marks and to finish up and get that nice grilled taste. All right. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. All right, so you're going to sear this, and what I mean by all sides, you're going to do the all the way to get all those seasonings locked in, see? So I'm going to sear both sides, and then the, all the way around before it goes in the oven. This is what I'm talking about. I'll show you what it looks like when I've seared it off. All right, as you can see, it's seared. I'm just finishing the back side of the fat, and then I'm going to stick it in the oven, like I said, and wrap it so that it finishes to right where I need it to go on the grill. All right, I'll, once I take it out and put it on the grill, it'll be my next step. After being in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, like I said, I put it on the grill. Look at that. I got butter melting to keep it nice and moist. But it's about to come off. It's about done. You see it shrinking from the bone a little bit. And when I take it off and we cut into it, I'll show you then. But here you go. Look at that. All those edges. Look at all that seared in. Oh, yeah. Cast iron's the way to go before you sear it in, on the grill. Or finish it off. You see it on the stove, cast iron. All right, Tim's going to cut it off the bone. Let me see that bone. Mm, look at that. Perfect. Let me turn that steak around. Let's see what it looked like inside the bone. Let me turn this for a minute. 
Look at that. Perfect medium, medium well. And since it's so big, that's a lot of meat, guys. So he's going to cut it down the middle and show you. Look at that juice. Oh. Perfect. Look at that. That's how you cook a tomahawk. Alright guys, for this recipe and more, hope to see you at Lori's World. Bon appetit.